Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you my Ostara um, altar setup. That's hard to say, Ostara altar setup. Ostara altar setup. So um, my in bulk altar setup video was like really well received. Um, I loved doing it, so I decided to make one for this next Sabbath, which is Ostara. Um, it's all about spring and it's a very positive Sabbath. I mean, it's all about rebirth and planting seeds for the future and spring finally starting to show up and so it's yeah it's a really positive sabbat and i'm really excited i have a whole list of what i'm going to be doing on the 19th um for like a celebration the way i'm going to celebrate the sabbat um so yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> it's nice because this Sabbath you get to incorporate a lot more color and just more springy stuff, which is always a good time of year because the snow is finally going away, supposedly. Not here. We just got a snowstorm and it's frustrating. <laughs> I'm so over the snow, even though this winter hasn't even really been that bad. I'm still over it. <laughs> I hate winter. I absolutely hate winter. Just like, it could just be spring and fall all year round and I would be perfectly happy. So like last time, I just start with a pink tablecloth from the dollar store. Like I said, they're cheap and like easy to use and if you get a messy, it really doesn't matter. Next, I'm going to cleanse my space by burning some sage. Then I'm going to take this plastic clear bowl I got from Dollar Tree and fill it with these moss stones which I also got from Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to take this single white candle in a candle holder and I'm going to put it in the middle of the bowl. Next, I'm going to take these styrofoam Easter eggs, again, also from Dollar Tree. Seriously, one of the best places to get Wicca supplies on a budget. Then I'm going to take my God and Goddess candles, which I later realized were on the wrong sides and had to reverse them. <laughs> And I'm going to take these lavender, they're fake lavender flowers I got at Walmart in a vase with some green sand to give it some weight. Then I'm going to take this little white rabbit. It's actually from one of my kids at work. They gave it to me so I thought I would put it on my altar so it had a little extra meaning and have a ra rabbit symbolized. Then I'm going to take my salt. And this time I decided to have water on my altar, so I'm going to take some moon water that I charged on the January full moon, I believe, and I will have that on my altar as well. Incense holder, I'm going to put that on the left side of my altar. And then my athame. Then I'm going to take my offering bowl and put in some seeds. As this is springtime and a good time to plant seeds, I figured this would be a good offering for my altar. Then I'm going to take some moonstone and some fluorite and put those by my bowl. Then next comes my bell.
And I also decided to put my amethyst on my altar as well. Of course, gotta have my tarot cards. And there you have, with the addition of my Book of Shadows, my Ostara altar. guys I hope you enjoyed my austera altar set up um, it like I said I I love doing my altars like I I did this for the last one too but I write a list of everything I want I draw like a diagram of where everything's gonna go I love planning my altars it's so much fun and I love setting them up and now it's nice to like film them for you guys so you guys can see too so Alright, I love you guys so much and I will see you later.